In this video, I will give you a quick walkthrough on the accordion block in Squarespace. So I am using it here on my Squarespace templates page. And you'll see that because this section is pretty wide, I actually have two accordion blocks next to each other. So let's just set that up from scratch. I'm going to create a new template or a new section here, and I'll add in the accordion block. And if you don't see it, you can just st start typing accordion and it will appear here. And then what I did for the layout here is I added another accordion block and I'll just click and drag it to the side here so that they are side by side. And then I can get rid of this text underneath or move it to the top and write a title here. So let's do that and center it. Now for the accordion blocks themselves, there are lots of things we can do. So I'm gonna grab some lorem ipsum so that we see what a longer answer would look like here. So for the accordion block, if you double click on the block, it's gonna open up the editor and you can change your content. So for example, accordion item one, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in this longer paragraph here. So there are some things right off the bat that I don't like here. Um, I actually am using a smaller H4 than my paragraph two text. So I'm going to change these around. And I don't love that this isn't coming farther to the right. I don't love the, um, the bar on the top that you can see here, this kind of divider line. And I don't like that they're so dark. So we'll look at those changes and then we'll also look at changing the icon and the position as well. So let's go ahead and double click, get back in here to our um, design. So let's just leave content the same for now. You can write your titles here, descriptions here, um, delete these, add another one, and it will set that up for you. But let's focus on the design panel. So first off, I want my title to be, instead of heading four, I could make it heading three, but that's pretty big and it's styled like heading for me. So I'm actually going to go paragraph one for me, which feels good. And then my description is paragraph two. So if I go back to my content and I look at it here, this feels really nice. This is slightly bigger and it looks like a question and answer to me. So I like that. So inside design, I've got my text um, styling set here. Now we can decide in design, do we want to expand the first item? I don't want to do that because these aren't going to be the same length and I want it to look nice and tidy. So I'm going to turn that off. But if you just had one accordion block and you wanted people to understand what they could do to interact with this and it wasn't, you thought maybe they needed that visual cue, you could expand the first item. You can also allow multiple items. So here, if I save this and I click item one and item three, they're both open. Whereas here, if I hit item one and item three, it closes the first item. So you can choose if you want to allow that. I'm going to turn that off. Dividers are on, but if you click on here, you can see you can turn them off, which I think is a little weird. I like having something there, but I don't like showing the first one. I'm going to turn that one off. You can also turn off the last if you'd like, and you can choose the thickness. I prefer the smallest. You can choose it exactly by pixel size here if you want to, um, but I'm just going to go with small. And then for opacity, I'm going to bring that way down so it is a faint line. So I think, you know, 1.25 looks really good to me. So I'm going to bring it down and that looks more like a suggestion than really taking my eyes away from what's important here. So let's go ahead and go back in and see what else we can change. So our icons are pluses. We can make those arrows instead. I am a fan of the pluses. We can change the icon size. And again, you have complete control over that. I prefer the smaller ones. Icon thickness. Again, I prefer the smaller ones because it matches my site design. But if you have a really bold site design with heavy, heavy fonts, you may want to go with a larger icon size or a, a, a thicker icon. We can also adjust the icon placement to be left of our item title or to the right, and we can change the row padding. So we can make it tighter, so these things are much closer together. 
medium, which I feel is pretty nice and spacious. It doesn't feel crowded and large, which I think for my design, it's a little bit too big. So I'm gonna stick with medium here. Now we have um, decided here on our layout for this, but let's go back and, and open up this content again. I still don't love how this is um, too far to the left for me, really. I feel like it should come farther to the right. The description should take up more of that optional space. So here, beside where you have title and description, if you click these, it's gonna give you a little bit more options on alignment for the title. But for paragraph, we can actually choose the width as well. So I can make it large or I can make it, if I don't want it 100%, I could make it 90%. We can also change the padding of just this description area, the alignment of just the description and the placement. I um, I think this is a nice option too, to inset it a little bit and then kind of make this a little bit smaller. So that looks really nice and balanced to me, adjusting the width and the inset of the paragraph too. So it feels like an answer. So let's just save that and we'll take a look. So this is what we have now. I think this is very nice. Definitely a nicer style than the original with these heavy lines. And I love the inset for the answer here. And I love that it takes up more of the block on the right. We're not dealing with all that empty space. So that's a walkthrough of the accordion block on Squarespace.